So this is going to be a short video on how to install or build Kuva Chili 1.4 and above on, um, you know, your Linux machines. I'm be using the Ubuntu 16.10. This is so, um, you know, I can help a friend who reached out, you know, uh, because he was having problems building, you know, Kuva Chili on his box. So I'm using Ubuntu 16.10, but of course, you know, you can um, adapt it for, you know, other distributions. Um, also, you know, um, there's a work going on on the Radius Desk installer for those of you that use it um, to install Radius Desk and uh, a couple of packages. Um, this will actually consider Kuva Chili, um, you know, as as an entity. Of course, Kuva Chili support what uh, is somewhat supported, but not fully, you know, because um, I mean, it's something I thought people were not necessarily using per se, but uh, right now, um, with some of the requests I've had in a couple of days and months, um, I think it's high time we consider a way to make it easy for people to install Kuva Chili on their machines in addition to Radius Desk itself. So right now I'm on the page for Kuva Chili on GitHub, so you can visit that. You can see the URL at the top. Um, of course, you can go ahead and read the change log, a uh, couple of stuff they've removed, some things they've added as well. I have my install of uh, Ubuntu 16.10. Uh, this is basically, this is nothing but uh, a plain install. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see how we can build Kuva Chili 1.4 on this one. So uh, here it goes. First of all, you want to make sure you have all the dependencies required to build Kuva Chili. And uh, that is actually just uh, you installing a couple of build um, packages that allow you to build, you know, um, packages on Ubuntu. So, one of the things I have here is, uh, you know, some of the packages we're going to need. Right now we're installing the G++, which is going to help us with the, you know, C++ um, compilation of the code. Uh, we're going to use Automake, uh, a couple of these build tools some of you are familiar with. Uh, of course, uh, you need the, if you want SSL support on your Covertually installation, then of course you need this um, development library for SSL, for OpenSSL. Um, this is so that it can actually help you build um, the UIT OpenSSL option. All right. Also, uh, because this is going to be a Git repository, you know, you can feel free to add Git. Um, of course, if it's not already installed in your machine. Um, so yes, it's going to go ahead and install this. So give it a moment to install. So once the packages have been installed, the next thing you want to do is to actually clone the Git, um, you know, Kuva Chili from the Git repo. So we do that by cloning the repository. All right, so with that, you could um, go into the directory. And uh, of course, if you just wanna make sure you're actually in the 1.4 branch like you saw, of course, you can actually just check out to the branch. So this should, you know, tell you that you're in the 1.4 branch. So this is, you can confirm this easily by just checking that you're in the 1.4 branch of Git. Uh, so the first thing you want to do um, while doing this is to use the bootstrap script. Uh, they include the bootstrap script so that you can actually go ahead and check some of the dependencies and create a configure script. Okay, so run the bootstrap, make sure you're running it with sudo or root. Uh, I'm already logged in as uh, to my machine as root, so basically I'm running my sudo commands as root here. Um, so it's gonna go ahead and uh, bootstrap the install um, directory, and you can see right now there are no errors, so it means we're good. Uh, if you check right now, we should have a configure script as well. Um, so of course you can just go ahead and uh, do a configure if you want. Um, what I recommend is you run the dash dash help option. This helps you to check out uh, the kind of um, options you can set, enable, or add or remove uh, with Kuva Chili. Um, I have some options I enable with most of my um, RPMs and um, you know the dev packages that I host in my um, PPA. Uh, of course, feel free to go through them and um, add and remove stuff you know you need or stuff you don't need actually. Um, like recently, they they dropped the you know um, DNS log option, which many people don't use anyways. So uh, make sure you check with that um, before you kind of continue. But um, I'll just go ahead and you know paste my recommended build options. Um, of course, you know I'll have a separate video that shows or tells or kind of explains why I enable some features and why I disable some features depending on the type of build. Uh, for the most part, people are installing Kuva Chili on some kind of box or server uh, that kind of allows you to use a lot of the resources of the server. Uh, for those of you considering embedded, you know, solutions, of course, there are some tweaks and optimization um, stuff you have to enable if you're running this on, uh, say, uh, an open WRT, you know, firmware. All 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the configure options. So these are the things I enable. Uh, one of the things I want you to notice here is, um, you know, I'm using the USR directory as in my prefix, and I'm using the Etsy directory as my um, sysconfig directory. This is so that you can create a Chile directory where you can actually manage your configuration files. All you need to do is just to install it. Uh, that you could that can be done with the make and make install command. Uh, you can run them, you know, individually or just chain them um, like this. So this would take a while depending on, you know, the options you've enabled and disabled and of course the power of your machine. So with this, um, you know, you can go ahead and follow some of the tutorials on the radio side on how to install to, you know, kind of configure this. Uh, please watch out for the video upcoming. Um, I just want to thank Jordan for kind of reaching out and pointing out some of the requirements of stuff he has gone through and the errors he had. And I felt it's a good way to kind of share this with a lot of people that might be having such errors or configuration problems or just basically installing Kova Chili. Um, as many people seem to kind of um, use it these days. So um, thanks so much and I hope to see you in the next video.